there is an actual Behringer driver for the audiophile UM2. We'll show you how to get it and install it onto Windows 10 coming up. Welcome back to another simple green tech video where we give you audio recording tips, tutorials, and reviews. I'm Radio Zane, and in this video, we'll be looking at installing the actual Behringer drivers for the UM2 audio interface onto Windows 10. Plus, we'll also look at adjusting the driver settings for recording. The UM2 is a great entry-level USB audio interface for streamers, YouTubers, and musicians. Let me know in the comments below what you'll be using the interface for. Also, be sure to link your channel. I'd like to check it out. All right, let's jump in. I've linked to the Behringer drivers in the description. There is a 32-bit driver and a 64-bit driver. If your computer is running a 64-bit operating system, you'll want to download the 64-bit driver. If you're running a 32-bit operating system, then download the 32-bit driver. Most computers from Windows 7 and up are 64-bit. Once downloaded, you can unzip the file, go into the folder, and find the setup. Double-click on the setup, choose your language, then you want to click install the driver. If your interface isn't already plugged in, it will ask you to plug it in now. Go ahead and do that if you haven't already. Then it says in order to complete the installation, you must reboot the computer. Go ahead and do that now. We're back now from restarting our computer. Now you want to open up your recording software. For this video, we're going to be using the free DAW Traction 7. And if you want to find out more about this free professional DAW, I will link to our Traction 7 playlist in the description. And you can find all kinds of information and tutorials in there. But if you're not using Traction, what DAW are you recording with? You can let me know in the comments below. Once your program is open, go to the settings section. And then you want to go to audio device type and you want to change that to ASIO if it's not already there. Then you want to change the device to the Behringer USB audio device. It's already there for me. And you can leave the sample rate at 4800 hertz. That's the best that this device will give you. And now, if you want to adjust the latency, you go into the control panel here, and you can go into ASIO. And now you can see system performance. This is the latency adjustment. And you can see all your options here. There's normal, fast, rapid, high speed, and then these slower ones here. I don't think you're going to want to use any of these slower ones. Your computer should be powerful enough without having to lower your latency. But if you have a big mix with lots of files and you're finding that you're getting the clicks and pops and stutters, you can go to the relaxed normal or the relaxed setting, and that might help you. But when you're recording, you want to choose normal at the lowest and fast or rapid high speed might be a little too much for this interface to handle but you can try it out and if it works that's great by having a lower latency when you're recording you'll be able to line up with your click track or your drum beat or guitar whatever it is you're recording over you're going to be able to keep in time with it better as you can see if we go to fast you have a three millisecond input latency which isn't too bad if you go to high speed, it's two milliseconds, which is pretty good. What you want to do here is find the happy medium of latency and system performance. If you notice some pops and clicks or some stuttering, or maybe your program even crashes, you will want to adjust this latency back a bit from whatever you have it set at. To recap, we looked at installing the actual Behringer drivers for the Audiophile UM2 interface. We also looked at setting up your DAW to work with your interface and adjust the settings of your latency in the ASIO driver control panel. Let me know in the comments what type of projects you plan on using the UM2 for. Is it YouTube videos, music recording, gamer streaming, or something else? Just let me know in the comments. You can also feel free to link your channel down there. I will check it out if you link it there. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos from us, please subscribe to the channel. Also, if this video helped you out, you can give a big thank you by heading over to our Patreon page and becoming a member for just $1. For Simple Green Tech, 
I'm Radio Zane, and we'll talk soon.